Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a young boy named Hike. Hikes was known to be timid and introvert and didn't speak much to others. He was constantly bullied at school and he was afraid to look people in the eye and always looked down. So he found himself a meadow, a tree, where he would sit and contemplate for hours. One day, as Hake was sitting in his favorite meadow, an old monk named Master Koji approached him. Master Koji was known for his wisdom and serene presence. He could sense the creative energy that radiated from Haika and decided to share a lesson with him. Haika, Master Koji said, the power of imagination is a gift that can transform your world. Let me tell you a story so you will understand. And so Master Koji began. In a distant kingdom a long time ago, there was a barren land where nothing seemed to grow. The people of the kingdom were disheartened and the once vibrant community had lost its spirit. One day, a young woman arrived in the kingdom. Instead of despairing at the desolate landscape, she closed her eyes and envisioned a lush, thriving garden. The young woman started to plant seeds in the dry soil, not with her hands, but with imagination. She saw each seed growing into a vibrant flower and the air filled with the sweet scent of blossoms. Day by day, the young woman tended to her imaginary garden with love and care, and something miraculous began to happen. What happened? Hayek asked. Well, the master continued. As the young woman continued to nurture her imaginary garden, the people of the kingdom started to notice subtle changes. Real flowers began to bloom, and the once barren land transformed into a colorful paradise. This young woman's imagination had brought life to the lifeless and joy to despondent. Master Koji paused, and Hike's eyes widened with wonder. The moral of the story, Hake, is that the power of imagination has the ability to shape reality. Your thoughts, dreams, and visions have the potential to breathe life into the most barren of situations. Embrace your imagination, use it, nurture it like a precious garden, and watch as it transforms your world. Hake sat in awe, realizing the profound truth in Master Koji's words, but he had a question. He said, Master Koji, what was the young woman's name? Master Koji smiled. He looked at Hake and said, Haika, it is up to you to give the young woman a name. Up to me, Hague asked. Yes, the story I just told you has played out all in your mind. And now it's your turn to get the woman's name and breathe life into the story. Hike was confused. He didn't know what to do, but Master Koji pressured him and said, Give the young woman a name. And out of the blue, Hike said, I will call her May. I'll call the woman May, content with the answer. Master Koji smiled the last time at Hike and then walked away. You see in life, in your life, don't live from the outside to the inside, but live from yourself into the outer world. You have the power within you, so always stay strong and use your imagination to breathe life into this world. This is Once Upon a Time Motivation Stories. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.